west side of Charleston is a historically impoverished end of town. Um, it's also been a segregated end of town. And so folks in this community have just not had the opportunities that many other folks within the city have had. And it, they felt forgotten. You know, a lot of the folks, a lot of my neighbors don't have a lot of money, but we have to respect that they own where they live. And when you do that, and, and they see that you respect it, man, you give them a little bit of resources and they'll take it from there. They will, they'll take it from there. Um, they don't have, they don't call us back and say, I need you to do this now, I need you to do this. Well, no, you see them out doing it. Neighborhood revitalization is something that doesn't necessarily just happen. Investors aren't going to start building homes and aren't going to start putting in new businesses if the neighborhood is just distressed and it doesn't look like there is an opportunity for growth. The city was talking to me and as partners like Errol were talking to me about the work that we could do on the west side of Charleston, the vision was how do we make this a collaborative effort? How do we come together? through a variety of different community partners and really invest in one area of town and help that area really experience um, neighborhood revitalization to the fullest extent possible. That's what we have to be. You know, we have to pitch in and take care of each other in a community, any community, not just the west side of Charleston. And if we can get more people to do that, I think you'd see a bigger impact. A lot more work that needs to be done but it's moving in the right direction as far as the overall look of the West Side. <laughs>